Do you want to start working out at home, but there are just so many fitness products on the market, you just don't know what to get? Stick around and I'm going to show you the top four pieces you need at home to get started. Tabitha Gomez here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm here to help you busy ladies out if you're juggling a job, career, kids, but have no time for exercise. I'm here to give you tips, tricks, exercise routines, and product reviews to help make exercise a part of your life. If at any time you see something that you like, consider subscribing below and clicking that like button. Also at any time during the video, go ahead and click the description box below and I'll have a link to my products and anything else that I talk about or I miss during this video. Now let's get into it. The top four pieces of equipment that you need for your home gym. Product number one, and I think it's very important, is a yoga mat. This one is about a quarter of an inch thick. You can find them at Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx. I mean, they're cheap. You're going to pay 10 bucks maybe for a decent yoga mat. Try to find one with a handle. I think it's really important to have this to go. Okay, so you're working out at home, but guess what? Now you can take your exercise mat on the go with you anywhere. Out to the park with the kiddos. Maybe you're going to work out with some friends, do yoga anywhere to the gym wherever you feel like going you know that you have a trusty yoga mat and it's about 10 bucks or under good deal totally worth it product number two near and dear to my heart which i absolutely love and highly recommend everyone to get one like i am now for under ten dollars the best core workout of your life is a stability ball this thing. I absolutely love my stability ball. I have several of them. I can't live without it. You can use it for so many different exercises. I mean, you can upgrade your uh, upper body workout, your core workout, your lower body workout, all with a stability ball. At the top of this video, there should be a little link and then I will link some basic stability ball exercises to get you started. I know a lot of people don't know how to use the stability ball, but I'm telling you, it is amazing. Once you get good at it, and once you start really working that core with your stability ball, you will love it too. Promise you, you're gonna have a rock hard core, amazing piece of equipment, again, for under 10 bucks. Product number three, which I really love, and everybody who knows me knows I love these. My clients definitely know I love these. <laughs> Mini resistance bands, amazing. I'm telling you, this thing, these are Perform Better bands, tried and true. I swear by, swear by this brand. I've been using it for well over six years and I love them. Light, medium, heavy, extra heavy, four different weights. You can double them up if you need. A pack of four like this, you're gonna pay less than 20 bucks. I think these are around 15. Keep in mind when you are buying resistance bands, they are mini bands, resistance bands, loop bands, Versa bands, there's a lot of names out there, but there are different sizes. Not all bands are created equally. As you can see, the yellow is longer than the blue. So this is a nine inch band, and these are 12 inch bands. All right. I usually use nine inch bands, but 12 inch bands are really great for other things as well. So I own a bunch of both. Um, if you are taller, I would probably recommend the longer bands. If you are short like me, I'm only five, four, uh, the shorter bands will be just perfect for you. And a uh, last but not least, number four, you need some weight in your training at home. So I highly recommend dumbbells. Okay, uh, two sets. These are neoprene dumbbells. These are five pounds. You can go at five, four, three, whatever lightweight that feels good for you. But these are fives here. Neoprene dumbbells run about $2 a pound, all right? You don't have to get neoprene. You can get hex dumbbells. These are non-coated, just a hex dumbbell. These are about a dollar a pound if you're bargain shopping, shopping all right? So, another set of heavier dumbbells. These are 12s. 
You want one heavy set, one light set. I promise you, it's very good for resistance training. You're gonna need some weight. You can choose to buy kettlebells if you'd like. Those run about $1.50 to $2 a pound. Kettlebells are awesome as well, okay? But if you're just starting out at home, you definitely need some weight. And that is a great place to start. Just two sets of dumbbells, the resistance band, the stability ball, and a yoga mat. I promise you, these four items can get you a great workout at home. So tell me in the comments below what your favorite piece of home gym equipment is, and we'll talk about it. See where we can get deals and chat about where it, where the best find is, really. Otherwise, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me, and aloha. Blah, 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 Oh, my toes are so cool. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Catholic Gomez here. I thank you for joining me at my.